I have never seen Jim Jordan go after a witness the way he does in this video. He shows proof after proof after proof that this witness is lying. Check out what happens. Mr. Shank, did, uh, did Gail Wright really tell you that? Yes. Justice Alito said he didn't tell her. She said she didn't tell him, but you're sure she told you? Absolutely. Now, you wrote a book a couple years ago, is that right? 20, 2018, you wrote, yes. wrote a book? Yes. Uh, I want to read a section from that book. Uh, it's a section where you relate uh, you and your family were attended oral arguments at the, at the court. You were there in the courtroom, and that directly involved your brother, Paul, um, also a reverend. Uh, and I, wanted, I just want to read this, this section. You said, with the single rap of the gavel, Chief Justice William Rehnquist announced, we'll hear argument first this morning in number 95-1065, Reverend Paul Shank and Dwight Saunders versus Pro-Choice Network of Western New York. Paul and I winked at each other knowing we had made history with that reverend in his name. It had been a minor victory when we persuaded the court that reverend should remain before Paul's name, even though we had been told repeatedly that legal briefs never included such titles. You thought it was important that, obviously based on what you said, you thought it was important that the title uh, reverend be in front of Paul's name, is that right? Correct. And why was that? Because we saw it as a religious liberty matter and that that would make it clear that it fit in that category. Did Chief Justice Rehnquist really say that, the way I just read it from your book? Uh, I can't say that I remember that Well, you're pretty darn literally. specific here. You got the number, case number 95-1065. Very next word says Reverend Paul Shank. You made it a big deal. Um, thought it's the first time it's ever happened. I'm just asking, did it really happen? I wish I could tell, I would have to go back and, and review that. So you, it may not have? Possibly not. Why do you say possibly not? You were emphatic in your book. I would have to go back. And, well, we and did review. go back. We did go back and I got the transcript <clears throat> right here. Proceedings, 10.05 a.m., Chief Justice Rehnquist. We'll hear argument first this morning in number 95-1065, Paul Shank and Dwight Saunders versus Pro-Choice Network of Western New York. Did you hear it? I did. Was there a word missing? Uh, title, Reverend. Yeah, wasn't in there. In your book, you said it was a big deal, so much so that you winked at your brother. Did you wink at your brother? Yes. What'd you wink for if it wasn't in the title? Well, it was our case. But, you, but that's not, you said you winked because they included Reverend in the title and the transcript says Mr. Rehnquist didn't. Perhaps not. Perhaps? Court reporter get it wrong? Did he say it and the court reporter get it wrong? Well then. Well, we got the audio too. I'm gonna to play that for everyone to hear. So we'll hear our argument first this morning, number 95-1065, Paul Shank and Dwight Saunders versus Pro-Choice Network of Western New York. Reverend, did you hear that? I did. Was there a word missing that's different from what you put in your book? A title, yes. What was that title? Reverend. Reverend was not there. Right? Did you wink at your brother? I think I did. In fact, I think I actually oh, wow. hooked him. So now you got more details. You got the key detail wrong, what you were writing about in your book, but now you remember an additional detail. You not only winked, you, not, you, you elbowed your brother. I think Even I though the reason for the wink in your writing was the fact that Reverend was using the title, something that had never been done, but it wasn't used. But we're supposed to believe you today. We're supposed to take your word over Justice Alito's word. We're supposed to take your word over a lady who gave you dollars, donated to your cause, Miss Gail Wright. You're disparaging her name, Justice Alito's name, and the court. And you, you have this, which obviously didn't happen. We got the transcript, we got the audio, but you made it a big deal in your book. One thing I've learned, people who mislead folks on small things mislead them on big things. And you know what? You can, you can lie in a book, it's not a crime. You can lie to the New York Times, that's not a crime. But when you come in front of Congress and you say things that are not true, you're not allowed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. 
And we have seen it. You're not supposed to do that. I yield back. Jim Jordan was so right at the end, toward the end, when he says, it's not against the law to lie in a book. It's not against the law to lie to the New York Times, but it is against the law to lie to Congress. And when Jim Jordan was showing, the, read the transcript, first read what he wrote in the book, and then he read the transcript, and he's asking the guy every step of the way, you saw it, is that, is that what you said? Is that what you did? And he was like, yep, yep, sitting there all proudly, right? And then when uh, Jim Jordan read the transcript, transcript that showed it wasn't even, Rev, Rev, Rev was not even in his title. The guy was starting to, uh, oh, oh, I don't remember, like, right, right? Like, uh, he didn't even know that Jim Jordan had all the facts he did. But I was blown away, I don't know about you guys, when he whipped out the audio, because the audio cannot lie. And when he whips out the audio and we're hearing <laughs> that the rev was not in the title, this guy, this is what pisses me off. Like, they, he knows he's not gonna be held accountable. Democrats never get held accountable. And he goes, he adds a little uh, insight. He says, yeah, I actually not only blinked at him, I nudged him. Are you freaking kidding me? Jim Jordan's like, oh, more detail. You're adding more details there, but you can't remember what was actually said. That, that shows not only disrespect for Congress and the process that he has to go through, but it shows how much Democrats love the power that they have, that they feel they can do anything and they will not be held accountable. Blows my mind.